Here in the United States and in many places around the world, masks like this are in short supply. Hospitals are running low and they simply aren't available for the general public to purchase. So people are turning to makeshift masks. In England, pensioners are sewing masks for the National Health Service. This factory in Italy once made high fashion dresses, now they make masks. In the U.S. state of Maine, this shop usually makes and repairs sails for boats. Now they're using their skills to make masks. It's just it's something, you know, something different that ultimately is um, going to help. Public health officials in the U.S. are split on whether it's a good idea for the general public to wear masks, but President Trump says he's considering it. Not forever. I mean, you know, we want our country back. We're not going to be wearing masks forever, but it could be for a short period of time. None of these homemade masks will be nearly as effective as the N95 masks healthcare workers wear, but the U.S. CDC says homemade masks can be used as a, quote, last resort. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these face masks. For people handy with a sewing machine, thousands of online tutorials have popped up since the COVID-19 outbreak began. The CDC has posted a design for a makeshift mask that doesn't require any sewing. You start with an old t-shirt and cut it into a design like this. Then you cut smaller squares for the filter section. Now you may have to improvise a little bit. I put some tape on those filter sections to make it a little bit easier to put on. And I added extensions to these sections to make it easier to tie around my head. It's definitely more difficult to put this on than it is to make it. Public health officials say a mask like this won't provide you with the same level of protection as a real N95 mask, but it may be enough to stop you from getting the virus or from passing it on to someone else. Jim Stallman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.